And now we're just about to kick off the second half of the under 16 boys final. This time, Barkley will be attacking the northern goal. I'm expecting Barkley to really open up the guns and go out on this half. The game with the win. And here comes Cedar Bridge with the first attack of the half. And if I know Irvin Romain as I do, uh, he, like Neil Painter, is going to be telling the uh, young man to throw everything at Cedar Bridge. And he's going to be asking more from his front man, Jaquari Thomas Burgess. Also, number seven in Don De Silver. He's going to be uh, pushing the back there, the referee spot at the elbow. <clears throat> Cedar Bridge taking that time on the free kick. Just try to push the players high up the field. And it's the long kick forward. Fox is having trouble clearing. He eventually got it out. And it's McKeel. And his lossy ball. Both teams still look unsettled. Oh, they feed it wide over there. And once again, the touch is too heavy. Chatino Martin. The field is very quick, Mike. Literally caught. Classic battle between Bermuda's two mega schools, Cedar Bridge Academy and Barclay Institute. Here's Barclay. Oh, the flag goes up. Play allowed to continue. Oh, yeah. Here's Burgess now. Can he do something? Oh, he tries to go between, loses possession. He comes wide over here to Ivo. Oh, takes a deflection. So we see there, Charles Trott is on now for Barkley. Four back, very good just now. One new ball back, but Cedar Bridge have back in the possession. Asher is chasing. Also in there is Zandy Ferbert who has greater leg speed. Beats Usher to the ball. Usher has a firm shot, but he's not the quickest of strikers. Ferbert easily beat him to the ball on that occasion. Here's a throw in, Ferbert. And now it's being sent long there by... Oh, he didn't get his body behind it just now. Ivo turns it inside to Usher. Usher slips between two. Uh, one too many. Got crowded out just now. Yeah, Herb and Barkley in the attack, and it's a long ball it forward. Excellent ball. What is he going to do? And oh, great defending by Cedar Bridge. Jerome Bailey. Really is marshalling the defense. And now the way would pass from Barkley and well offside. And he knows it just left to the land. The referee is really allowing uh, play to continue here. He acknowledges the referee assistant this time, allowing the game to flow. Barkley again trying to go forward. Michael Thomas turns 360 de degrees. Ivo now. No doubt he'll be looking. Oh, he slips around his man. He likes to go all the way back. Ivo is really looking like a super sub out there. Has really turned the game around since he's been new. And there's a long shot. But it drifts wide. Robinson trying to get some going for his team up front for Cedar Bridge. Here comes Barkley now. Turns it inside. Not many passes being strung up together. Bo looks like a hot potato out there. Everyone's so anxious to get off their feet. They just need to calm down a little bit. Just so the game could settle down. And that's Barkley if he throw in. Up for the short one and decides to get on the line. And once again, they give it away. And here comes Cedar Bridge. Yeah. It's 
still got it. And a slip cross him. Low ball into the box. Comes about back to him. Oh. Yep, the Zande Furbit. Just need to get a shot off. Excellent board on the line. Uh, and no nonsense defending. Yep. Asheree Smith, the big center back for Cedar Bridge, knocks it into touch. Throw in. Barkley. Quickly being taken here by Martin. Martin goes back to Furbit. Changing up play to the far side over there to Stevens. But a bit too firm with that delivery. It'll be a throw in Cedar Bridge far side. Cedar Bridge holding on to a narrow 1-0 lead. Thanks to a 31st minute, 31st second strike by their front man, Darius Usher. Received a wonderful ball from the right side from Ivo. Cedar Bridge trying to get that cushion goal, but it's cut out. Here comes Barkley with the slow build up. On the right side now, turns it inside. And he sees his man out wide and can't quite get the pass off. Some good backtracking by you see the British defender. Goalkeeper finds Ivo. Touches in the middle. And Ivo gets caught out. And the Barkley player has space on the flank. It's on the silver. Here's his delivery Excellent to the back, back post. post. Oh. Oh. Couldn't quite get to it. Good attempt, good build up. Much better from Barkley. One thing I have noticed, Cedar Bridge, they can defend in numbers. Whereas Barkley, during that last attack, still had four men, 4v1, only Usher, and four defenders there. When Cedar Bridge is defending, they have seven and eight players back up there, and uh, they're dealing with only three strikers. Well, they say the greatest form of offense is defense, and Cedar Bridge is showing that they can defend. Here comes the Barkleyites once again. A lovely trip. Looking for Burgess. He's being watched closely by Bailey. Being pressured near the corner flag. Some good oh, good work. He's beat his man. Can he deliver here now? Here comes the cross. It's dangerous. Can he get a shot oh, off? Oh. And that makes it a good an opportunity there. And you see the players arguing, seeing some frustration out there. He knows he should have done way better. As both teams look to make a sub. We can see that uh, number five, the Barkley, Brendan Swainson is preparing to come on. Number 16 is coming on, Burchill for Cedar Bridge. And he has replaced six. So number 16 is on. That's Mazai Birchall has replaced Parent Chief. Go kick Cedar Bridge. Holding on to a narrow 1 0 lead in the 43rd minute. And his beat him. Oh, oh he ends up just oh, now. Yeah. Martin slips around Ivo. But can Barkley finish here? They have problems finishing. looking promising. They've had problems finishing, the Barkleyites. They still have the pressure on Cedar Bridge as the Barkley throw him in on the far side. Let's see what they can make of this. They only need one girl to bring us all back into the game. Sure that soon we'll be seeing the lights come on here at the National Sports Center as the sun settles. It's still Cedar Bridge. Oh, looking to find Osher, goalkeeper 
Samuels quickly out of the box, sends it long. Bailey heads it forward. Oh, the little diminutive Barkleyite out there. Barkley seem to be turning on his style this half. They're really pressing. Throw in, see the bridge. Ivo. Excellent ball. As he looked at Swissy plate. And the three ball finds him. He slips across him. Can he get a shot off? Yes, that was uh, Robinson. Okay, out Robinson. He kicked through from the um, Barkley goalkeeper. Ivo now. Michael Thomas dispossessed by Furbert. And here comes Barkley. Oh, Nassaje doing excellent work down the back. Ascendi Bridge. Yep, Ascendi Furbit looking for man in the middle. Can Barkley get something going? Well, they were looking for the small guy and Don De Silver. Some pushing going on, but the whistle goes. Rightfully so. Barkley free kick in and off. Free kick Barkley. Charles Trot sends it into the box, headed out. Oh, good piece of work there from Martin. But it's still Cedar Bridge. Barkley come up with it. Stevens on the right side. Oh, a little bit too firm there for Martin. Throw in. Cedar Bridge holding on to a 1-0 lead. There's the through ball What a ball. Oh, this clear is through. This is interesting. Oh, just wide. Excellent defending there. Fools, you see the bridge striker all wide, put on his weaker foot. Didn't really give him much room to work with. Usher could have came good with his second goal of the match, but earns a corner. Oh, you saw Jerome Bailey up there overlapping and uh, it's going to be another corner. We see that uh, Jason Wade is going to make two more substitutions. He's going to bring back on Anton Seaman and also his skipper Lottie Moore. Lottie Moore does bring a bit of pace to the team up front. They'll be looking to hit him when he quick breaks. Here's the corner. Cleared. Ivo. See the British are playing a bit of keep ball right now. Nearing the up one nil. Usher who's uh, really dressing back a bit deep now. There's a chip forward. Usher heading it inside. Ivo now. Oh, you should have taken it in a bit further. And the swipe clearance doesn't go very far. Cedar Bria still applying the pressure. Leave in the back. Sent high there by Parsons. And goalkeeper Samuels. Big boot. Oh, yeah. Here's the silver, but he's hustling there. Also out there is Martin. Martin. Oh, in between two players. Oh, the yeah. other Barkley player didn't read it. Charles Trot. There for Ray, who sends it long, but one bounce and into the hands of goalkeeper Daniels. 
surprised we haven't uh, seen the lights come on as yet. It's getting a bit dark here at the Sports Center. Here comes Barkley again. Touch a bit heavy. Referee just signaling a Barkley throw in from the 50 50 challenge. They ran out. We're in the 50th minute. And we're starting to see some tired legs out there. And here comes Cedar Bridge with the changes. Yep. Ivo comes out. Siemens back on. Skipper Lottie Moore yet to return to the field. And uh, we'll see who Lottie Moore will replace now. Looks to be number 14. That'll be Robinson. Nope, not yet. Barkley also making a substitution here. Coming on is number nine. Bowen is <clears throat> back in the mix. Ferbert working hard down there. High boot allowed to play. Ferbert. Oh, great through ball to De Silver. Oh, he gets around Smith, who's in the center. Actually, oh, well, good piece of goalkeeping there by was a Daniels. Good punch. The referee's assistant flag goes up. <clears throat> See the bridge free kick going out. The goalkeeper does some excellent work just now. To punch that away. Okay, he's back on his feet, whoever their player is. I think he got took a knock to the head just now from his own keeper. So we can see Jaquari Thomas Burgess getting to enter the field and they're going to have a drop ball as McKeel comes back on the field for Barkley really is a talented player so Swenson is off and Thomas Burgess is back on And it's the long girl kick. Ferbert is having a heck of a match here today. 53 minutes now. Let's see if that rest is going to be able to help Chikwari. And here comes Cedar Bridge ball. on the counter. Usher is chasing. I don't see anyone in the box to help him yet. He slays it up, plays it back. Plays it back to Robinson. Should have played it all wide. Way with effort. There was a Cedar Bridge man making a late run into the box. Ivor and man barking all the orders. Ivor and Barkley to play much better than what they actually are right now. Steal it on 1 0 to Cedar Bridge. Go kick Barkley. Big boot down the center. Oh, here's the silver once again, but. Smith is there. Oh, he's able to get it. Oh, a chance here for Jaquari. A chance now also. Oh, cleared by Smith. And here's the quick counter from oh, Cedar Bridge. Ball. Oh, Michael Thomas goes down. It looked like a trip up in the box from her, Mike. Uh, the referee didn't see it that way. Ferbert heads it forward. Here comes Barkley. The offside flag goes up, but uh, uh, I'm pretty much in line with the play there, and uh, that was a close one. Oh, a bad kick there from Daniels as Robinson keeps it in play. Charles Trot battling down there. Oh, 
Oh, what a move. <clears throat> Oh, it's a foul there on yeah, the Shields. He, he had his arms up just now. Giselle Smith to Shields. Here's uh, Michael Thomas once again. There's a good yeah. pass to find his player. Room. Goes to his left, he finds the open man. Oh, an effort from outside the edge of the box, but off target. Cedarbury still of these shooting opportunities to score. Jatino Martin. Jatino Martin now coming on. Here's a goal kick. We look at the clock once again. We're in the 56th minute. It's still Cedar Bridge, one Barkley Neal. Oh, the goalkeeper Daniels a bit lax there. He's lucky to get away with that one. This game is slowly getting away from Barkley. Still time left. It has an excellent, it has excellent process now. You fancy footwork with the step overs from the Cedar Bridge player. He looks yep. to lay it back off. Robinson uh, goes all the way back there to Sutton. Sutton back to Martin. Excuse me, Robinson. Ferbert again, who's really having an outstanding match here. Even though being, albeit, on the losing end thus far. Flicks it inside. Oh. One team has came off just now. It was a very late tackle and the rough players won. See the bridge with the ball and they just lose, lost it. Here comes Barkley on the counter. On the right side now. Oh, giveaway. Oh, still a chance. The sloppy defense. Going to the box. No. It was a weak shot. He rushed it. He must have panicked. All he had to do was look up. He had time. Here Excellent time. Cedar Bridge. And there's a through ball. It's that hard-working number five down there, Seaman. He's feeding his forwards. Again, Seaman. Here's Seaman again. Anton Seaman. Oh, off of his knee. Push from behind. And the whistle goes. Foul. It was, a, it was a push from behind. He has no reason to argue with the ref. Yep, a foul on the Zande Ferbert. As Barkley now really trying to get on equal terms here this number five comes on Brendan Swainson is back on after resting his legs for a few minutes Cedar Bridge free kick approximately 35 yards out still no lights Andrew I thought the lights would have started coming on by now and it's getting cool up here oh my god see you have, you have your glasses on now I hope the players can see out there. I've had my glasses on all this time. <laughs> <laughs> it's the first time you've looked at me for a while. <laughs> There's the free kick. It takes the deflection. The ball Charles was in the Cole. right place just now. There's McHugh. Can he hold the ball up? One player to beat two players. And got crossed on, but they recovered it accidentally with a sliding tackle. Some good defending. Cedar Bridge really digging in deep. Dropping back in numbers. And here comes Barkley. Oh, a chance Pulls here. to McHugh. And the offside legs up. Scared to score. Mm -hmm. I know you. Right, McHugh Walker. Yeah. No nonsense defending, but the clearance didn't go far. They got Nassaji Anderson over there fighting. 
Way smaller, but does the job for Cedar Bridge. He's having an excellent game at left back. That's another long girl kick. The flick one had her. This match is really getting physical now, Mike. Excellent switch of the play. And here comes Barkley. With 60 minutes down. <clears throat> Barkley is going to throw everything forward. And that was the clearance by Nassaji Anderson. And here he goes. He's a quick little fella. Usher has to time his run. Furby goes to his right. To Stevens. Back to Furby. Oh, they give it away, but they get it right back. Nice move. What's the referee going to call here? They both went in for that challenge just now. Well, it's, a, it's a Barkley free kick going in. 40 plus yards from goal. They really need to get the numbers forward. Time's not on the side. They're down 1 0. The going with the win. Any ball into the box is going to be dangerous. If they see the bridge keeper yet to be tested. Let's see if they can test them here. Two man wall. Well struck and a good piece of goalkeeping. Cedar is doing everything they can to hold on to this slender lead as they're coming on the attack again. Throw in Barkley. Well done there by Martin to keep it in play. Ferbert now. Yes, Stevens overlapping hard on his right. As you can see, Ferbert's pushing farther and farther off the field. Yep, Anderson cut that one out nicely. You can see that uh, Swan is about to enter the field. Trying to say Swan. Be able to tell you momentarily who's coming off. And also, Cedar Bridge also making a substitution. Coming back on is Parsons. Well, Mike, that uh, six o'clock darkness is slowly creeping up on us. And off will stand one swan. Yep, and I'm surprised to not see the lights on as yet. It's getting rather dark here. Free kick Barkley, far right side. It's free kicks in a dangerous position. It's a good cross. Can they get anything on it? Oh, good Daniels, field keeping. Daniels, Ashai Daniels, outstanding between the sticks. It's We're a rushy goal kick just now. We're in the 64th minute. City Bridge under the pressure that they are. Should have allowed his players to catch their breath. And to push out a little more. Only putting his side back under pressure. Barkley, Furbit again. They must get something going here, Barkley. They're running out of time. Furbit's really driving forward. And there's uh, the shot. And he's dragged it. The goalkeeper spilled it, but it was no one there to pick up on the spill. Still to come tonight during the Lindos. Bermuda School Sports Federation Knockout Cup Finals. The senior girls and the senior boys. Oh. And he's embarrassed that player over there, Mike. Oh, finally. Here we go with the lights. I think they should have been on at least 15 minutes ago. Maybe they're just trying to keep the Belkoo build on, Mike. <laughs> I 
Let's go, let's go with solar panel then. Daniels to the edge of the box. It's lucky he didn't get uh, called for that. He actually uh, went outside the box. We saw that last night when uh, Southampton Rangers played uh, Devonshire Cougars. And uh, if that goalkeeper goes outside of that 18-yard box, it's a free kick. Exactly on the spot. So, Mike, who has the next game? You see both teams starting to warm up. Senior girls involves Barkley and Salters. And that should be a very cagey matchup. And then the grand finale, the senior boys, Cedarbridge and Salters. And Cedarbridge can't quite clear the ball. Here comes Barkley in the box. Barkley can't seem to find a way past this brick wall Cedarbridge defense. They're doing everything they can. Throw in Barkley. Sixty six minutes down. Walker. And it's partially cleared. Only as far as Charles Trot. Oh, it's still Cedarbridge. Robinson knocking it long and a missed kick there from Martin. Cedarbridge just needs someone to hit the ball up front now. Just to kill the game off a bit as Barkley is pressing forward. Excellent defending. Throw in. <clears throat> Quickly taken. Uh, not playing around at all back there is Zakari Parsons. You can see uh, number 10 down there for Barkley. Raheem Ray is limping heavily. So he's picked up a knock. Throw in for Barkley being taken by Jatino Martin. That's not a player you want to lose right now, Mike. And it's all about clearance right now for Cedarbridge. Just trying to hang on for the final few minutes. Clock is slowly ticking away. And the score line stays like this. You can see Cedarbridge only one man up top in yeah. Usher. Everybody else is in defense. Barkley have a big wall to break down. And with only three or four minutes remaining, I... I, I oh, excellent tackle. Throw everything He forward. won all ball. It's a Barkley throw in, but it was an excellent tackle. To slow the play up. Yeah, Mike, if the score stays like this, it looks like the trophy will be going across the street to Cedar Bridge. Oh, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, missed kick by Trot. Thomas sends it back inside. Excellent ball, his own side. It's a chance it's here. Him. Oh, and the keeper's down. Seaman, uh, and the keeper go at it. The keeper is down. I'm surprised it took the ref so long to bloody whistle. Yep. Any any hit on the keeper, he should have been stopped to play. But he's down on the ground in agony. Samuel. You can see him moving his feet all around. Here comes Ivan Ramirez running on with the magic spray. Not quite sure what's wrong with the keeper, but. Coach is taking magic spray. I hope it's good enough for him to heal up properly. We're in the 69th minute. So play temporarily halted here. Just hope that it's not too serious for Samuels. You should be looking at about two, three minutes stoppage time, Mike. Sure. 
and uh, he's back on his feet. That's a good, good sight to see. Looks like he's able to carry on. The classic battle of the mega schools. The keeper done excellent just now to keep the ball out. Yep. Antoine, Threw his body on Antoine the line. Seaman had an excellent chance to put the icing on the cake for Cedar Bridge when Jazade Samuels denied him that. Took a knock, but the score remains the same, and we'll have injury time, extra injury time. See what the referee does here. Is he going to go the old-fashioned way, bum ball, or how is he going to do this? Just allow Usher to knock it back to the keeper. 71st minute now. Still Cedar Bridge 1. Barkley need to up the tempo now. If they want to find an equalizer and send this game to extra time. Here comes Cedar Bridge. They've been a corner later on. You can see the goalkeeper very frustrated for Barkley. Doesn't agree with the referee's decision at all. You can see uh, Barkley girls and also the Soltis Grammar girls have arrived and are warming up. Soltis in their black, red, and white. Barkley to our extreme left. Navy B. Can Barkley find something here? Time running out on Barkley. 72 minutes now. 35 minute halves. So what do you think? Might you think Cedar Bridge deserves this lead right now? Well, I mean, goals win the match, and uh, they're the only team that has provided one. Barkley have had their chances, but can't seem to put them away. Let's see what happens here. I've been really impressed by this Cedar Bridge defense. They look very organized on there. And here they come again. Seaman. Excellent ball. Now, straight up. Really cannon on his style. there again. Referee had a quick glance at the watch and wow he's beat him. You notice Usher is dressed back a bit and Seaman is more playing a more of a top role. Here's a chance. Oh read well there by Daniels at the edge of the box. Like I said earlier Mike this feels very quick they just need to take just just hit the ball a little softer. Furbert now. Goes to his right, he do, usually does, goes to his right to Stevens. Here's That's a chance for Barkley. Speed. He squares it back in. Oh! Excellent save. Excellent reflex save. Oh, I think they're going to regret that one. That should have been the equalizer. And let's see what Cedar Bridge do here. It's three against three. Skips cross one. Now. With the fancy feet. He's been beating guys all game. And he wins the throw me in. Throw in Cedar Bridge. Jamari Sutton will do the honors. Oh, that must have been a foul throw. That's about the fifth or sixth one we're seeing tonight, Mike. Barkley's chances are few right now. Throw in Barkley. Quickly taken by Martin down the line. Walker's chasing. But uh, big Jerome Bailey is there. Oh, McHugh, the McHugh's won it back. The ball in the middle. 
Takes a deflection there as Don DeSilver's effort took a deflection. So in the last minute, Barkley has had two golden opportunities. Well, Mike, I was wondering why the crowd was so quiet. It must be because Barkley's losing because they made a, a lot of noise just now for the opportunity. Let's see what they can do from her. Barkley with the corner. It's a dangerous corner. It's in. And that's it. Oh, that's the equalizer. Oh, the equalizer. Who's done it? The crowd goes well. The team is celebrating like it's even and good. It's the equalizer. The goalkeepers were way up to join the celebrations. And what a turn of events. Even the coaches ran on the field. This most definitely must be a Barkley crowd here. The crowd's been quiet this whole game as soon as they hit the net. They sparked to life. What we were just saying there, uh, Andrew, they've just missed two golden opportunities. The corner comes, and uh, Zendi Ferbert, who's had a magnificent game for Barkley, is there at the back post to head it into the back of the net. Now, how are they going to determine this? Because officially we have, we're in the 76th minute. So what will we have? Will we have extra time, straight we're, penalties? We're going to find out here now because we have to have a winner. And this game has sparked to life. As Cedar Bridge are about to kick off after holding a narrow 1-0 lead from the 31st minute. It's now all tied up. One and one. there it goes. That's the final a goal whistle. with the last kick of the second half. Let's see what will happen now. All eyes on the referee. Donna Merger Silva. And what a half that was. We would like to thank Lindis for putting this all on. And we'll be right back after these messages. Well, after ex an exciting 1-1 tie between Barkley and Cedarbridge, now we turn to penalty kicks. The dreadful penalty kicks, at Mike. At the northern end. And the man who gave them the lifeline, as Andy Ferber, is going to start it off for Barkley Institute. He's up against a Ajay Daniels. Here he comes. Oh! oh Mike, the pressure was on. He stepped up, didn't look very comfortable, and his shot has smacked against the woodwork. Watch him, Joy. After the first chance, Cedar Bridge have the upper hand already, even though they still didn't score their opportunity. Now we look here, it's the skipper Lottie Moore is going to take the first penalty for Cedar Bridge. Up against Samuels, here he comes. Oh yeah, Cedar Bridge leading, 1-0. This Barkley player looks determined to score, he's running up to the ball. Yeah, I don't see his numbers yet. Is that number eight? Number five. Okay, that's number five. It's going to be Swainson. Everybody knows what type of pressure penalty brings. It's a guessing game. 1-1. One, one. And it's simply telling the Cedar Bridge crowd to quiet down. It's not over yet. Okay, is this uh, Seaman stepping up for Cedar Bridge? Could be Anton Seaman, number five, if I'm correct, for Cedar Bridge. Yep, Anton Seaman now steps up. Right now it's 1-1, but remember Barclays Ferbert missed his opportunity. Here's Anton Seaman. One, two, steps. And, oh, and he, he, misses. It. he misses. And the crowd's going wild. So we're back on level turns now. Walker will be coming now for Barkley. And it's Mackeel walk Walker. Walker taking the long walk up. A slow walk. We're in the under 16 boys final. After being deadlocked 1-1, but now in a penalty shootout. And Mike, he looks nervous. Oh, it's a lot of pressure. Walker. And like Why? I said, Mike, he stepped up looking unsure. 
And Hughes hit it wide. Well wide. I saw it all in his walk. His nerves got the better of him. Jerome Bailey now. He's got his, his face in his hands. And he nears. He just blew a golden opportunity. Uh, Jerome Bailey now for Cedar Bridge. Barclays missed two penalties now. Can't see the bridge capitalized right now. And it's an excellent goal. Cedar Bridge leading 2-1. Just to take you through it very quickly, Ferbert missed for Barkley. Lottie Moore scored. Swainson scored for Barkley. Seaman missed. Walker missed and for Barkley. And as I look Bailey. in the middle. And Bailey just scored. So it's 2-1. As I look to the middle, I see McHugh, he knows he missed a good an opportunity. <laughs> Excellent girl. What number? Who's it? It's 2-2. Two -two. 13. Put the ball right in the roof that of the net. That was Smith to Shields. Gave the keeper no chance at all just now. The Shields. Now it's number seven for Seedbridge. Thomas. Kendall Barkley, goalkeeper, saved us and keep his team in the game. Mikhail Thomas. Seems to be some discussion going on on the side right here of the referee. With uh, one of the officials. I don't know what it's all about. Now I see the coaches coming over. Right now it's all tied up. Even though Barkley have two misses and Cedar Bridge one. Thomas has a chance to put Cedar Bridge ahead 3-2 in this kicks from the penalty spot. <coughs> In comes Tullis. Excellent girl. That stutter step that we see in the English Premier League so often. Doesn't work for old people, but it worked for him tonight. I think this is Raheem Ray for Barkley. He needs to school for Barkley, Mike. Yep, it's Ray. Yep. Struck that hard and low. My favorite type of penalty. 3-3. Three, three. Hard and low. Looks like Usher now for Cedar Bridge. And his, his walking up looking nervous like Walker was for Barkley. Starts his. Oh, yeah. And that's it. 4 3 that's winners. See the bridge celebrate. 4 3 on kicks from the penalty spot. And Cedar Bridge defeat Barkley 4 3 on kicks from the penalty spot. And are crowned up to 16 knockout champions. But what a spirited effort that Barkley gave. And uh, just coming up short here, and what a final it was. The goalkeeper still lying down, but the celebrations are taking place.
in the center of the park. Congratulations to Cedar Bridge Academy and Jason Wade and his troops. Still to come, the senior girls final and the senior boys. Thanks to Lindos, our sponsors, you're watching the Bermuda School Sports Federation's Knockout Cup Finals at the National Sports Center.